Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. We are going to the auction right now, but I'm late. The auction's already started. It's been going for about eight minutes now. Just got off work. Work took way longer than what I wanted to, but we do not need to get in logistics of why I'm late. The good news is I'm on my way there. The bad news is, is I'm not there yet. But I will say my goal for this one though is poor Ryan, you know, my goose, Ryan Gosling there. He, he is lonely, like really lonely. It's a lot of fun to mess around with him because he's really, really willing to hang around people now. Like he's really friendly. Uh, but I would just, I just want him to have someone to hang out with, especially since all the ducks are gone. So if I can either find some more geese or some cool ducks, I'm not sure. Either way, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm still looking for a rooster. I might have one found if I don't find a good one at the sale. That's about all I got really in store. Hopefully I get there before a lot of the cool stuff is gone and we'll you know, have a good time. Maybe we'll find some deals. Oh, kind of cool. Some crested Polish birds there. Guinea pigs. Doves. A parakeet. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. I don't need more goats, but uh, yeah, I do. There are pigeons everywhere. Bunch of whites. Otto. Four guinea pigs. What's up, dude? Rabbits and more rabbits. What's up, dude? I love call ducks. They're freaking awesome. But I am not buying that there's four females in there. I bet there's a female. Black East Indies are cool, though, too. More ducks. Ooh. Those look like silver, ap silver apple yards. Those are cool. Some bib ducks. Hmm. Ooh, geese. And more geese. Those are cool. Ah. Hard to get a good view on them here. We used to have some Pomeranians. Pomeranians are awesome. I like those. Some more of those port tumblers. Young homers. Three bucks. Three dollars. Three dollars. One hour. One hour. Two dollars. Gotta love Mookies though. I didn't like them at first, but they're cool birds. Mm hmm. Quail eggs. That's awesome. Jacks. Those are awesome. Real young, but they're cool. The Scobies. More ducks. More pigeons. <laughs> Turkins. Everyone loves turkeys. They're a crazy looking bird. Gotta love them though. And then silkies. Completely big fluff balls. Look like cotton balls with legs. Well guys, I broke the ice. Got my first thing bought. Yep, it ain't birds, but I got traps already. By the way, I was gonna sell the owls today. Didn't get here soon enough. I'm kinda glad too, because there are a ton of pigeons here and I don't think they would've brought anything. But, got two muskrat traps and two, I'm guessing either 175 or, I'm guessing 175s. One's a Victor, one's a Blake and Lamb. 16 bucks for all of them. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Yeah. I'd give it eight bucks a piece just for these two. Those Jacobin pigeons went for 14 bucks a piece. Well guys, I apologize for not getting more of the auction filmed, but I've been running around in circles, trying to get everything loaded up. Uh, I bought 118 birds. 
You guys are gonna have to wait till tomorrow when I unload them to see what they are. But I bought a lot of them, a lot of them. So I have more birds than what I need. I just couldn't help myself though. You guys know how it is. No one comes up like, oh, I gotta have that. But gonna go home, need a shower. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. Uh, but I will see you then. And I think you guys will like it. All right, guys, it is the next day. And we are here to check pigeon traps real quick because I haven't gone home yet. But I was here yesterday and I didn't have any cages with me and I wasn't headed home right away. And I watered everything, rebaited everything, but I did have three birds caught. I'm hoping that they're still there. I'm hoping there's a bunch more. So let's go see what we got. Okay, there was a white bird around here. There he is, pure white feral. Don't see that every day. Pure white, like solid. That's cool, I hope I catch him. He'd be awesome. He has no idea, that's a young bird. He's got no idea what's going on. Hope he doesn't get smashed by a hawk. Good news, that three birds. But when I checked yesterday, there were three that were caught in here and just my bait bird over there. Now I have two that are caught in here and I have plus one over there. So I lost one and I gained one. Oh well, let's get them out. All right here, let's see. Start with this young black one. Oh, come here, buddy. You're not as young as I thought you were. Good bird there. And this guy got his head stuck. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh sorry. Another good solid one. Blue check there. All right, let's go get that one. Oh, calm down, calm down. Here, you. Yeah, you're a baby. Baby blue check. Boy, <laughs> you haven't been out long, have you, bud? We've, we've been picking on a lot of young birds here trapping but like the last week or so, we're catching quite a few older ones. It used to be like probably 80% young ones, but now it's getting closer to 50, 50, maybe even a few more older ones than young ones. So that's that's good for me. But I'll get everything rebated, rewatered, and we'll get to the loft and look at what I bought. All right, we are back here at the farm and I'm not sure what the best way to do this is. I bought a few different sets of pigeons. I'll show you the, the first ones that I'm less interested in because I need to get some cages empty. <laughs> you wanna see two? Okay. So these here, I believe, were sold as mostly rollers, but also some roller homer crosses. Uh, there were some homers in here, and I just sold them to a guy because uh, he wanted some birds, and he wanted those. And I was lazy getting around to filming. Lazy, I was, he got to the house like five minutes after I did, so I sold them, so. Sorry, don't get to see those, but, but tomorrow, a subscriber got a, well, sorry, let me back up a little bit here. A subscriber got a hold of me, one of you guys, and has some birds that he has flown, some pigeons, up to 500 mile racers. So like good, good homers. Um, he's gonna give me some of the birds that he has flown, some of his older birds, which obviously I can't fly, but they should be great breeding stock. And then also some younger unflown birds I should be able to train to here. So plan on meeting him tomorrow. So there will be some homers coming, uh, just not so much in these groups. I did get a few though. We'll see those in a little bit. And these here were just sold as pigeons. No, you're not gonna hold them yet. Hold on, I'm filming. Can you hold on? So these here are just pigeons. I have no idea what they are. They were just pigeons, but they were cheap, so I bought them. Now these, these are more just pigeons. I have no idea what they are. I, that, that's all I know. They were in two lots of 23, so there's 46 of them in there. And they were just pigeons. The guy didn't say anything, couldn't find the owner, didn't really try that hard, but they were cheap, so I bought them. I'm gonna put a bunch of them in these cages so we can kind of see them better, and then I can go put those up in the loft also. Okay, here's about the first half of them. I mean, there's some cool colors in there. Sorry, this is a bad angle. But there's some cool colors, nothing crazy. I mean, they're just cool looking pigeons. And I don't know if this is a special breed or not, but there's a bunch of them in here that have feathered feet. Let me grab one. Like this guy here. I mean, he's got some serious feathers on his feet. I'm not sure if he has like some parlor roller in him or West of England or whatever they're called. I think they're West of England tumblers is what they're called with the feathered feet. I know there's a lot of breeds that have feathered feet, but I have no idea what they are. But I mean, like this white guy here, he is a really, I mean, he's kind of a proud bird. He's got those feathered feet. I have no idea. Uh, some of you guys who are pigeon pros might know like, hey, that, that's this specific breed or 
this could be a cross, but uh, I'd really appreciate you guys uh, give me a heads up on what you think it is. Here's another feather footed one. Not a lot of feathers on his feet. I don't know what you call them, muffs maybe. I'm not sure. Please forgive me guys. I'm drawing a lot of blank, but I really like this color scheme. Like he's a cool looking grizz bird. Just thought I'd show him to you. And then this guy came out of the same batch. Like he's got this, I don't know, what do you call it? Crest, frill, whatever you want uh, on the back of his head. Does not have feathered feet, but he's kind of cool looking. I did catch that one feral the other day that had the same issue. So, I mean, they're, they're cool, but I don't know what it is. Anyway, I th I'd show him to you as well. This guy's kind of interesting. So he's got a white wing, got one dark feather there, a couple of them. And then this one, oh, come on. Then on this side, he's got a big brown splotch right there. I mean, I know it's not a full shield or anything, but I thought it was a little bit different, a little bit cool. But that's the last one of the birds that I have no idea what they are. But the other ones that I'm getting ready to show you are from the same breeder that I got uh, the pigeons at the last sale from. Uh, so there's gonna be some more Mookies. There's gonna be a bunch of different stuff to look at. He did tell me that um, the figuritas, those are actually like the smallest pigeon. Um, I forget what the first word is in their name. But anyway, there's some figurita that they're the, supposed to be the smallest pigeon in the world. So I'm pretty excited to actually have some pure ones of those. Uh, he said the other ones were a Portuguese tumbler figurita cross. I'm not sure. A lot of you guys picked that out in that video. You guys, you guys were on top of that. So he said some of these are pure. Um, I'm not serious enough about breeding them to keep them separate, but you know, I got some. So here are the new Mookies. Got some red in them this time, which I'm, I'm kind of excited about. You guys know how I like red. Uh, but yeah, some more of those grayish blue. I'm not sure what exactly to call that color, but we've got a handful of Mookies, you know, just as crazy as they always are. And then some more figuritas. These are kind of cool though. There's a lot of dark colors, a lot of blacks, uh, but there's a couple of blue bars here and there. They're really cool though. Got some interesting size to them. They just look really nice. Just never ceases to amaze me how small these suckers are. I mean, they're tiny. All right, I'm gonna go put these up uh, with the ones I got before. And then I have rollers and homers to show you yet. So hold on just a second. Get these Mookies out here. That's kind of cool. It's got that bluish gray with some red in there. Interesting. That guy, what is your issue? You're way too Mookie for your own good. <laughs> one reason I kind of like these birds. I, at first I really did not like the Mookies, but they are just insane enough to be cool. I think anyway. I don't know. Tell me guys, do you like Mookies? Yes? No? Remember this is what they did last time. I pulled them out and they all went and stood right in front of the window. Come on, tiny guy. Whoa, dude, don't go swimming. <laughs> he thinks he's a duck. What's going on, dude? There we go. You are not a duck, neither are you. I know you're thirsty though. All right, here are the new rollers. I'm kind of excited because there's some different colors in here. I really like that there's a bunch of red. So I got three red ones here. Got some cool grizz colors. Got some more black ones, which is that I'm perfectly fine with that. That's all right, I like saw black. They're kind of pretty. And then whatever that is, I don't know what you are, dude. The guy did have some bronze rollers there, uh, but I got outbid on those, so. I don't know why I needed more rollers, but I did. Can you really have too many pigeons? The answer is yes, but um, I'm kind of excited about these. So the rollers are there. Homers, I have three left. I sold eight younger unflown ones um, to a buddy of mine a little bit ago, uh, ones that I didn't get on camera. Sorry about that. I'll make up for it later. You know, next video, when I get those other homers, they'll be way better. All right. He's got a nice solid head on him, I think anyway. I think he looks kind of cool. Um, got a big strong head. I don't know. You guys that know way more about racers than I do will tell me if that's good or bad. White flights, blue bar with white flights. You guys know how much I like my white flight birds. But yeah, he's just a nice thick solid bird. At least I think he's pretty. I mean, look at that. I don't know, tell me what you guys think. But I'll show you guys these next. All right, this one here is a little bit younger bird, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure, but it looked a little bit younger. And it's got, I don't, I don't know what color to call that. I have no idea. It's mostly white, got some whatever that is. 
So you guys out there, tell me. Let's see if I can get some decent light. Tell me what that color is. I don't know, I got no idea. But, he looked cool, I like him. So we're gonna throw him in with the other homers I have. Hopefully I get that the homer loft finished soon. I'm getting close, not quite there yet. Here's the last one. Big, strong headed. I don't know what that actually means, but he's got a big head, big old beak on him. I think that's cool. Um, you know, he's reddish. How many of you guys are shaking your head right now and be like, this guy does not know what he's talking about. You're right, I'm learning though. Uh, and you guys are helping me out a ton and I really, really appreciate it. So I, I like pigeons, but I am far from an expert or a fancier. I just like pigeons. It doesn't really bother me, uh, you know, to have a bunch of different ones. I need to get them separated out, need to fly them. There's lots of things I want to do and need to do, um, but I am learning. So if you guys help me out, that's awesome. I appreciate you guys sticking around with me and you know helping me through all this. And I have no idea if that is a good looking homer or a bad one, but I like the way he looks. I think he looks awesome. Yeah, so you guys have to tell me if that's a good or bad bird. I didn't film the first one for some reason, but you know, put him in there. Boy, you sound like a jet taking off. Hmm? Go. These might be some of the smallest rollers I have ever seen. I know some of them are real young, but dang, you guys are tiny, especially you. I know one comment that is gonna come up a lot by this point is, how much did you pay for them? Not very much. First ticket, uh, eight pigeons, two bucks a piece. I don't remember which ones those were. Uh, there's nine pigeons for 250. Uh, we got 22 of them, two bucks a piece. Two bucks. Those I know were mostly rollers, homers, and the figuritas. Those right there, two bucks a piece. How could I not buy them? I don't need those birds, but how can I not buy them for two bucks? I mean, really, good deal, right? I think I did good. Guys gotta let me know, did I do really good? Should I just let them go? Do I need to get rid of them all? I don't know, you guys need to tell me. But I hope you guys did like the video. If you did, you guys know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button for me. It helps me a lot. Helps me out, helps promote my videos, helps the channel grow. So if you guys take the time to do that, I'd really appreciate it. Subscriptions do the same thing. Uh, not quite as much as likes, but if you guys like the content, I went and looked the other day, 70% of you guys that are watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. What are you waiting for? It'll let you know when I upload. But I understand, I no hate, just the one to let you guys know. Uh, it does help me out a bunch if you guys do that. So I'd appreciate it if you guys did. But anyway, until the next time, uh, you guys be safe out there and we'll see you again.